Next, we head to Eureka, Kansas, for a virtual hearing. 24-year-old Karis Green has been charged with unlawful possession of methamphetamine and unlawful possession of drug paraphernalia. A month earlier, Green was driving to Georgia when she was pulled over for speeding and then arrested on the drug charges. Her mother posted bond of $7,500 and she was released. But then Green missed her scheduled court date and a warrant was issued for her arrest. Today, she appears remotely before Judge Phyllis Webster to find out if she'll be taken into custody or remain free on bond pending trial. Okay, where are you, Miss Green? In Alaska. Who's Cynthia yeah. Miller? That's my mom. Okay, you just cost her $7,500 for not coming to court. She's gonna have to lose that. There's no way that, like, and that was a cash bond, it looks like. We have to decide what to do about that warrant. Ms. Gillette, what's your thought on that? Do you have a position on whether it's lifted or not? I'm fine being lifted if she calls court services every week. Under Sheriff Cox, does your office take a, a position on what to do about that warrant? Yes, Your Honor, I do. Because I have information that she's actually in Pueblo, Colorado, not Alaska. Pueblo? Yes. No. Who was the gentleman walking around behind you in the picture a while ago? His name's Dale. Dale what? Dale, uh, Dale Whitman. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Good afternoon. Can you put your face in this camera, please? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that was on the video. I apologize for my appearance. Okay. All right. Where do you live? I live in Green Mountain Falls, Colorado. And you're at home right now? I am. All right. Thank you, sir. Miss Green? Yes. You just lied to me. Remember when this hearing started and you said you were in Alaska? Oh. Why'd you lie to me? I... You realize you put me in a position where I can't trust anything you tell me now. Well, I was ready to set aside your warrant, but then you lied and said you were in Alaska and you, I find out you're in Colorado. And does that change anybody's uh, recommendations since we, she flat lied? I think the warrant should stand, Your Honor. Yeah, well, that's what I'm thinking too. We're gonna leave that warrant out for you. Please, is there any way that you can dismiss the war? I'm so sorry. Well, I would have if you hadn't lied to me. I'm so sorry. Well, I'm going to have you sit there for a little bit while I think about what I'm going to do with you, OK? OK. While the judge keeps Green on the Zoom, Under Sheriff Cox leaves the call to contact law enforcement in Colorado. Green, meanwhile, has moved outside. I'm going to leave her warrant active. You're going to leave my wa Is there any way you could, like, I... Quash it. Quash it? I'm, I'm, ma'am, ma'am, I am... I know I'm messed up. Don't, don't use that language in court. That's contempt. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I know I messed up uh, big time. And I really apologize for lying to you in your court. That, that was really not... Not a good idea. But at this point, local police have arrived to arrest Green on her warrant. Law enforcement well, is on All scene. right. Are you there for her on her warrant, Art Marshall? Yeah. OK, well, you're, you're going with him now, then. We're going to quit playing games. You better call your mom and tell her you cost her uh, $7,500 on her bond. You go with okay. him. All right. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Green was taken into custody and released after posting a new bond of $5,000. If convicted on the possession of meth and drug paraphernalia charges, she could be sentenced to 10 to 42 months in prison. Her case is pending. Thanks for being a fan of Court Cam. Subscribe to A&E to never miss a new video and catch full episodes on AETV.com.